Hey guys, so in the past two months, I've gotten unsolicited. I don't even remember the last time I talked about flesh and blood. Probably not even in this entire year. Um, I don't remember making a flesh and blood video. Maybe I mentioned in hindsight that because the prices are really, really low. Uh, their newest box is only $85 a box and people, including Alpha Investment, are hyping the box up to the moon. But like as many people have realized, there is very little liquidity compared to Pokemon or Magic. So I've been receiving uh, emails um, and basically all kind of look the same. I picked one. I actually have a few different emails, but this one I want to read out to you. So somebody emailed me on December 30th, 2023. Um, I might have made a video back then. I don't know, but it's kind of a weird time to be emailing somebody to do business. And the reason I want to make this video is I was watching another video by a flesh and blood content creator. I don't know if he would even want me to say their name, but um, so they, it, they seem to be very private individuals. Um, so basically they were approached by a individual named Alex and they didn't want to buy his cards, but Alex kept saying, buy my cards, buy my cards, buy my cards. That's been my experience as well, but I'm not part of the flesh and blood community. So I wonder, you know, what, so I, I did some research on first edition Monarch. That's the only real set that I understand because that was a set that I had covered in great detail from Alpha Investment. He was selling a box essentially at 500 plus dollars, depending on if you're international plus Patreon. And that box today is sitting at $50 or less. Uh, after fee. So if you were to sell that same box as an investment, you would hold it. And the time that you would bought the box was early 2021 or, or early 2021. Yeah, oh, or 2021. The S&P 500 has gone up significantly, probably even double. I have to double check this. But the Bitcoin has definitely doubled or tripled in that time. And uh, maybe quadrupled. <laughs> Who knows? So so uh, here, these are the type of emails I'm getting. I'm getting emails right before Christmas, right? Like uh, December 30th, 2023, 4.38 p.m., right before Christmas, I get an email. Hi, Tony. In one of your recent YouTube videos, you mentioned you were interested in picking up sealed F FAB. So I'm reaching out to you regarding that. I have around 12 cases of WTR Unlimited. 12 cases Arcane Rising Unlimited and 15 cases of Crew Unlimited, as well as some first edition, Monarch first edition and some Everfest. The quantity is an estimate. I can get you an exact count if you're interested. You know how desperate people always say that they're not desperate? Yeah, okay, we're gonna get into that part. I am not in a hurry or desperate but I would prefer to put money into other investments. Okay, so he what he's gonna do here is probably put this in the S&P 500 and make a shit ton of money. Because that's what I did, I didn't buy this stuff. Okay, but I'm, it's interesting to see the prices. Yada yada, I'm gonna slip. Okay, so here's the prices he's looking for. WTR Unlimited, $55 a box. ARC Unlimited, $85 a box. Crew unlimited $60 a box monarch first edition $65 a box so monarch first edition I know that one because I've tracked that one right now you can buy a single box in TCG player for $65 a box you can buy a case I believe a case has four of them for less than that for around 50 now private sales or for monarch first edition are $50 a box there is right now a person in Houston on Facebook marketplace selling Monarch first edition and he's got looks like uh, a few hundred boxes of them and as long as you take a full case he'll sell you the full case for 200 let me know if you guys uh, if that's a good deal I don't, I don't know if it is and then Everfest $45 a box so I'm looking at these again this is supposed to be um, and then he leaves his contact information so these are supposed to be really attractive deals um, but every time I'm reading I can read you more emails Every time I'm reading these emails, I go on TCG Player and the price per box is actually cheaper if I buy it in a case. So like, why would I want to buy in a, you know, case, like, why would I want to buy, look, how many cases is this? So 12 cases, 12 cases, 15 cases, 
some unknown amount of cases. I mean, I'm buying at least, what, 24 plus 39 cases plus two more sets? Like, at over the market place? Are you kidding me? Like, you know, how, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? Like, I, I don't understand. And, and, and the, here's my concern about, um, so I think Flesh and Blood is an interesting game. I am definitely going to make more videos about since I watched that video. I think his name is Saint. He's one of Rudy's really good friends. I think he's Open Booster's friend too because he made a video about those two. Uh, it's interesting. I wonder, like, he's the guy who traded the Black Lotus away from some flesh and blood cards. I wonder if he uh, regrets doing that. You know, and, and it's not even out of morbid curiosity. I I don't know Saint. I've never talked about to him. So it's not like Rudy. Uh, Rudy, I think it's a terrible thing. The two games that he promoted most, Meta Zoo and Flesh and Blood, as investments. Now, if you're a player, I think you love the price point. It's cheaper than Magic. I heard it's more fun than Magic. Um, and I, why would you not? But if you're a collector, was this Meta, was Meta Zoo really a good collector buy? Like, if you are an investor, and you're like, oh, he's not an investor. Uh, alpha investments. Okay, it's kind of like when people on the other channel tell me sports card investor is really just a collector and he doesn't want... No, no, it's in the actual name of the YouTube channel, guys. You know, um... So I kind of wonder, you know, I, I really wonder, like, um, these people who have made large investments, because I talk to the MetaZoo community, of course, and they all will vehemently say, no, no, we made the right decision. It was a great investment at the time, but then something went wrong, and I kind of would love to go on and just, you know, a, a real legitimate meta or not meta zoo, uh, a really legitimate flesh and blood collector and kind of see what was going on in time because you can learn a lot. And that's what I want to do. I want to learn because I too want to avoid this. I have fallen for the trap. And you're like, oh, why don't you teach? Everything is a little different, right? So 2020, 2021, at the time, like everything was low, man. So, so if you put the money into Bitcoin, you put the money in the S&P 500, in NVIDIA, there are a million of different options. You put money in housing, you put money in buying a house, you would have been way up today than you were back then. So I'm overall a little bit, um, I would love, I would love to, uh, I would love to see um, what really happens here. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I would love to see what really, really happens here because I'm kind of like, how do people play? How can an investor, um, how can an investor justify buying something like this? Like our meta zoo. Clearly, MetaZoo is in bankruptcy, and these Nightfall kits, I mean, if they do sell, they're not selling for $820. Monarch, which was the hype. And then how do you keep buying it? Like, I would just be so devastated that I had made such a critical mistake. Anyway, let me know. Bye, guys.